going to refute the heresy, the Calvinist heresy of unconditional election. What it states is that God just chooses who gets saved and who gets damned. There's no free will. And basically God, he just picks you and you're saved and that's it. There's no condition for salvation. I mean, the scripture teaches something very, very different. And the thing about the Calvinism is that it's named after a man. The whole religion is named after a man. If you're a Calvinist, don't you find a little bit of a problem with that? The fact that your whole religion is named after a man. Problematic right there. Calvinist, you know, John Calvin. But what is this? Unconditional election. Well, there is a condition for salvation. Okay? It's not just this unconditional God just chooses who gets saved and who gets damned. You know, I mean, if that was the case, we'd all be robots, essentially. But there is a condition for salvation. John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 5, verse 24 Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me hath everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. John chapter 6, verse 47 says, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. And John chapter 20, verse 31 says, But these are written, that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name. John chapter 8, verse 24 says, I said therefore unto you, that you shall die in your sins, for if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Galatians chapter 3 verse 8, And the scripture foreseen that God would justify the heathen through faith, preach before the gospel unto Abraham, saying, In thee shall all nations be blessed. Galatians 3.26, For you are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. And of course, Ephesians 2.8 and 9, For by grace are you saved through faith. And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. There is a condition. Faith in Jesus Christ. You believe on Jesus Christ. Without leaving your repentance too, you also have to come to God in repentance too. But there's a condition. It's faith. It's not just a thing of God chooses as unconditional. That is a heresy. So, I've been wanting to kick that for quite a while now. Just never got around to it. So yeah, don't be duped by this Calvinist heresy of oh, God just chooses to get saved. No, there is a condition. Faith. Believing. Again, just all the scriptures I just quoted to you, it's just believing. Believeth on him, you know, you believe, you have everlasting life. You have faith, you're saved through faith. That simple. So don't be duped by Calvinism. It is a very, very satanic heresy, and it produces satanic cults, like the whole Westboro Baptist uh, cult that, you know, causes all kinds of problems. Calvinism is very, very wicked. Uh, Westboro Baptist Church is actually the fruit of Calvinism in many ways. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye. Thank you.